Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to talk about pumps. And when I say pumps, I'm talking about syrup pumps and source pumps. Why do you need to use pumps? First, they look better. They're nicer to look at, especially when you have bottles lined up all with pumps. And the most important thing is that they are more convenient to use. Pumps usually come in different sizes. For this one, this pump is 10 ml. That means one full pump is 10 ml. For a Da Vinci pump, normally it comes with 7.5 ml. Monan comes in two sizes, one in 5 ml and another one in 10 ml. And for this particular pump, for the Thai Sala, it comes in 10 ml. Now, when you use different brands of syrups, you have different bottles. Most brands will have their own specially designed pumps. So for instance, for Da Vinci, this pump can only work with Da Vinci. It cannot be used for a Monan bottle or a Thai Sala bottle. But for some reason or some stroke of luck, Monan pumps can actually use for Da Vinci or for Thai Sala bottles. It is not always the case. So what you can do is to find a pump that can be used for different types of bottles. I found one which is exactly that. This particular pump is especially designed for different types of bottles, making it so much more convenient to use. Most of the pumps that are designed for their own brand are screw caps. Da Vinci pumps will be screwed onto the bottle. But for this pump, which is, fits all sizes, which is really, really good, all you have to do is put it on and it does, you don't need to screw it onto the bottle because it just got a lock at the top. Like for instance, I can put it on the Da Vinci bottle. Let me try that. Let me just move this out for a minute. And then just to show you an example, without putting the tube just yet, I can put the pump, this pump for a Da Vinci bottle and it works just fine. And also, if I am using a Torani bottle, so this time I don't have brand loyalty because I try many different types of brands. And also, some brands I prefer over the others for a particular flavor. Like for instance, I like the caramel for Da Vinci. I like the French vanilla for Monin. So that's when the problems happen and I need to buy different types of pumps. So finding this one size fits all pump really is very good. So again, if we put this in a Tarani bottle, the same, it also locks in and you can use it to pump the syrup out of the bottle. So that's for a Tarani bottle. And now let's try it with another brand, which is Long Beach. Let me just open this one. And I'll just wipe this one, just so that I don't mix the flavor. Let's just wipe it. And then I can also put it in a Long Beach bottle there. It locks in. And okay, I can pump it because it doesn't reach the bottom. And you can also pump this. So this one size fits all pump is very, very convenient. For the sauce pump is also the same. We have this particular pump is especially designed for Da Vinci sauce, but I also found another pump, which is a pump for sauce that fits different types of bottles. So this is very, very convenient. When you buy the pump, usually it comes with this and then the tube. So the tube usually comes with a flat cut here and a slant cut here. I would normally put the flat cup, insert it into the pump head, and then you put this inside the bottle. So this one will make sure that you pump the syrup out of the bottle. When you use your pump, the tendency is for the pump to clog up. The more you use it, the more chances of it clogging up. So I would recommend that you clean your pump, you wash your pumps every other day. If it's too much, then make it once every three days, but make sure you clean your pumps. 
let's see how you clean your palm. I'm just going to put some plastic gloves on because syrups are normally very sticky. So I'm just putting this one on. So just to give you a tip on how to clean your palm, so take out the palm and you will see that you still have some of the syrups in the tube. So make sure you take it out whilst you are still, your tube is still in the bottle. Okay, and make sure whatever is in the tube is returned to the bottle. You must not be wasteful. And also pump whatever is remaining inside this pump. So you can pump it, and as you can see, there are still syrup in the pump. Just pump a few squirts, and then you can wash this in warm water, and that should do the trick. So it's the same way, you can do the same thing for all your other bottles. I am going to show you how to clean your syrup pumps. So let's have a look. So make sure you wash it in warm water and the reason why we are going to use warm water is because sometimes you know this is syrup and there's some sugar formed in the tube or inside the pump itself so using warm water will make sure that you dissolve whatever sugar is left inside so i'm just going to add a little bit of warm water into my tank and make sure it's not too hot that you cannot dip your hands in it so just soak your pump in the warm water for a bit so just make sure there's nothing left there a few squirts here and there and then let's wait for it to dry same way here let's do that and your pumps are again ready to be used much cleaner so when you are not using your syrup make sure it is locked in its place and then when you need to use it again you just have to open it okay that's really all I want to say about pumps so make sure you purchase the right pumps for the right bottles and if you can get the one that is one size fits all and as i have said if your bottles or syrup bottles have pumps especially if you have a milk tea or a coffee shop they just look aesthetically better so let me know if you have any questions about syrup and sauce pumps at all and i'll try my best to give you a response stay safe thank you for watching and ciao for now